Hello, how's everybody doing? This is Mickey. Well, today I would like to spend a little time talking about a tool we use all the time, but very seldom do we talk about it, and that's the spot removal or dust removal tool. I don't know about you, but when I'm viewing photos with friends or we're discussing photography on a Zoom meeting and somebody pulls up a photo and it's got a dust spot in the sky, it drives me nuts. I, I, I would just want to reach through the screen and click it or, you know, grab a mouse and, and, and make it go away. No, no, you're missing it. It's higher. <laughs> so let's just jump right in and see what we can do with this dust removal or spot removal tool. Before using the spot removal tool, what you might want to do is do some basic changes or processing to the photograph because you might find in changes in clarity or dehaze or maybe even some contrast, some spots you never saw before might appear. It'll make it a little more difficult to clean up if you've already done a lot of uh, masking, things like that. So to start out with, we're just going to click auto. We're going to go down to transform and turn auto there and our lens corrections going to turn remove and enable profile corrections. So that's a good start. Uh, and now we can start looking for our dust spots. To access, access the dust spots tool, you want to be in the healing tab. And you can do that by clicking on the band-aid or by clicking the Q key. And clicking the Q key, it opens up the panel. Now you can see you have three tools up here. This is a content aware, the spot healing, and the clone tool. For cleaning up dust spots, it kind of goes between the spot healing tool and the content aware tool, depending on who you're talking to. For me, I think Lightroom has done a lot in this latest iteration with the content aware. So that's the tool I like to use. If it's a bigger uh, area than a simple dust spot, I might move to the spot healing tool because it's got more capabilities. Below that, you see the size and that just changes the size of the brush. And you can usually change that too by uh, scrubbing with your mouse uh, button, roller bar, roller button, whatever you want to call it, and it'll make it larger and smaller there. And then opacity is just like when using a brush, you can change the opacity of the effect that you're applying when you're removing the spot. So the first thing we want to do is identify the spots in our photograph. Now there's another tool that Lightroom has and that is the visualize spots. And you can turn that on by clicking the little box here and it changes it to more like a black white mask with lines for more along contrast changes. And this has a, a slider that you can increase and decrease the contrast so you can see more spots. I just warn you that if you crank it all up, you'll see more spots, but you also might find things that you think are spots and you don't want to remove things that aren't spots. So let me give you a better way to do that. I turn it down to about 75%. And I come over here to the dehaze slider and I slide that up to like 80%. Dehaze will really bring out those spots. So as you can see, when we have this visualized spots on, we can see a lot more spots. Now, if we turn off this visualized spots, you can either click this or click the A key. You can see these spots are much more visible. Let me just open this dehaze up a little more and you can see. Now, let me stop here just for a second and say, do not judge me. I was on the northwest coast of Ireland. It was a storm, wind blowing, rain coming down. And for some unknown reason, I thought it would be a good time to change my lens. And as careful as I was, you can see I wasn't that careful. I got a lot of mist on my sensor. And now we're using our dust part removal to clean up a major part of the sky. So that's, that's how we got where we are today. Now, if you want to see things closer, you can always go up here and, you know, click whatever you have as your default for resizing or zooming in. But if you go to the fit, back to fit the way we were, hold your space bar down and click, it'll take you to that 100%. Then space bar click will take it back out. So wherever you click space bar, and we'll click on this rock, it zooms in on that general area. Click moves it back out. Now if you need it to be bigger, you need to zoom in more, just choose the value that you need. We'll say 200 and now the click zoom will always use the 200 so you can move in. Another uh, helpful tool is space bar down, hold your mouse button down and you can move the picture anywhere you want so you can get exactly the area that you're going to be working on. All right, space bar click takes us back out. Now, when we zoom in, we'll go back to 
and in our navigation window I'm going to bring it right up here or let's look at this this area right here but when I work uh, noise reduction or spot removal I will start at the very top and logically go through the photograph and believe it or not Lightroom has a tool for that too on a PC you would hit the home button on a Mac you hit function left arrow and when you do you can see my my navigator window I've moved all the way to the top corner left corner from this point you're just gonna hit page down on a PC or you're going to hit function down arrow and as I go down it logically moves through the, the photograph to each segment and I can look at that segment and make sure there are no spots in there when it reaches the bottom all you have to do is hit function left arrow or home key on a PC now once you're in the area you pick the tool that you want you size the brush that you need it to be and all you're doing is clicking and I'm using the content aware tool you're just going to click each spot and clean up as you go and of course because I took my lens off in a storm I have a lot of work to do but in any case this is what you do now once you have everything clean up in this area it's page down on a PC or function down arrow on a Mac and you see we have uh, move to another area right here it's just going to logically move around and get everything cleaned up so you have no dust spots once you have everything cleaned up let's go back to our regular view we're going to double click on dehaze which is going to take it back to the normal value and we're going to go back to our basic panel so we can start processing our photo now let me also say that you can also clean up the spots in the visualize spot screen. Let me sw switch to that real quick. We hit the Q key, the A key, that takes us to visualize spots. And we'll turn our dehaze all the way up. We can see our spots. So you can use this mode to also clean up spots if that's what you wanted to do. I didn't want you to think that you have to be looking at the regular mode like this to clean up spots. It can be cleaned up in any screen. And afterwards, again, you're just going to double click on Dehaze to bring it back to normal value and go to your basic panel and continue on processing your photograph. I hope this helps everybody out in using this magic little tool we have. And I will talk to you guys soon.